Hi there, this is Deb, and thanks for tuning in to Second Beauty View. I went to the makeup show in New York City last week, had a ball, and bought a lot of nice things. Um, so let's just kind of delve into what I purchased. Um, just a little FYI, I've been going for the last few years, and I used to buy a whole lot of makeup, but then I realized stop buying all that makeup there because you end up either throwing it away to dry out on you because if you know makeup does have a shelf life so this year i decided to focus on my skin and skincare and how to help us um second beauty's skin continue to look fabulous and uh, flawless so that's where my focus was this year so come on let's jump in and see what we got was called uh this is a company called dr a brand and what was so interesting about this particular company is the gentleman did a wonderful little illustration and he used this stuff right here this is called the 3d voluminizing mask and it also says needles no more now i haven't done botox i keep talking about it i'm just playing with it but you know what i don't rule anything out but needles no more, if I don't have to do anything to kind of like help me to keep looking smooth and fresh, if I don't have to do any surgery or any uh, treatments or anything like that, why not try something like this? So I'm going to try it. When he put it on my wrist, my wrist just kind of plumped up. I'm like, oh my goodness. So if my wrist plumped up like that, will, it, will my face plump up? We're going to see. I'm going to try it. And then the other thing by Dr. Brent was, again, needles no more. And this is the Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. Hmm, these are my two faves, so I hope it doesn't disappoint me. I'll let you know how it turns out. So, let's see. Excuse me for reaching over the camera, but I gotta grab stuff. This is uh, Nigel, another great company. So, Nigel sells a lot of different products, but what I love... Oh, the lashes! The eyelashes! Boy, did I clean up on eyelashes. I must have bought about, um, you know, maybe 50 pair. Nice and long. I mean, lashes for every occasion. These are so pretty. Now, this is a nice lash for a bride. These are 217s. Very nice. Nothing completes a look like a lash. And I got some short lashes also. So I didn't get all dramatic. But um, got a lot of nice lashes. These are wispies. And these lashes are, I, they were $1.50 each at the show. They used to be a dollar. They went up there, $1.50. Um, if you want $1 lashes, and there's a company called Shop Miss A. I think shopmissa.com online, you can get lashes from uh, that website. They are $1. I like these also. These are like just little lashes to pop on the end. If you just want a little bit of drama without too much drama, these are very nice. So, great. I cleaned up on the lashes. Again, the focus was on skincare, looking healthy, keeping that skin nice and vibrant. I Ran into a company called Perfect, P-U-R-I-F-E-C-T. And this is a facial oil and serum. So serums are very good. Help our skin to look and stay fresh looking. And then I also got the whipped gel moisturizer. So I'm definitely going to try these two together. I think I'm going to do... The Dr. Brandt products first, just because I don't want to mix up the results of what I'm using. So I would definitely do those first, and then I would move on to the Perfect products. Um, the folks at the Mario Badusco, I never say this right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they were so gracious. They um, actually gave me these two to try. One is a vitamin C serum. And the other one is Rose Hips Nour Nourishing Oil. So, let's just kind of like try different things. I know some of you all have been using the same products for a long time. Change it up because sometimes, like I was using some stuff for years and years and finally hit me like, 
why are you still using that stuff, Deb? And it, it would dry my skin. It kept my skin. It left my skin feeling kind of dry after I washed my face. And even, even after I moisturized, I still had like that kind of tight feel. I didn't like that. So um, I've since been using uh, Cetaphil, which I really do like. And it's very inexpensive. Um, but, you know, hey, let's try some different things. Also, I have by Perfect is a coconut cleansing water all in one. I think they gave me this one as a sample. I don't think I purchased it, but they gave me this one. Now, just kind of moving on to keeping the skin nice and clean. This one's by Symphony Beauty. It's a facial cleansing foam. It's supposed to brighten, clarify, and illuminate. It has vitamin E in it. Again, I'm always looking for a good facial wash. Uh, what's this? Oh, also by Symphony. I don't remember if I purchased this or not. I think maybe I did or if they gave it to me, but I think I purchased it. It's an actual um, mat. And it says it's all about coconut. Facial spa. 20 minutes and it's paraben free and I was looking for a lot of I'm trying to get away from a lot of chemicals a lot of parabens I don't know a lot about parabens I know it's not good um, so I'm trying to move more to more kind of natural kind of things if you will so uh, it's a slow process but I'm getting there but the instructions for this it says wash face pat dry apply mask to face and leave one for 20 minutes remove the mask and do not wash your face allowing any excess moisture to be absorbed so moisture hmm yes I like that word so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one Savara now I don't know anything about this but what was interesting is um, again when I was talking to the vendors I really stressed how important it was that I was looking for something that was more natural and something that's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles and something for second beauties. So the person sold me on this. It's called Savara, again, the company. And this particular product is called Sunita. It's an antioxidant enriched super serum. And when I read the information on it, it says, skin nourishing spray, that is an all natural, all natural, good, vitamin fortified solution, high in nanovitamins and antioxidants to fight free radicals and skin damage. Now, what's really interesting is, this did not come with a, um, a spray, a pump. So, I'm not sure how I am supposed to use this, but I'm going to figure it out and I will let you know. Oh my goodness, one of the highlights of the show for me. I use this thing right here. Check out, I did a um, I did a, 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 a video on my trip to New York City, but this thing called Perfectio, oh my goodness. It's a zero gravity thing. It's uh, for facial rejuvenation. And boy, the way it massaged, it's so warm. It felt so so good on my skin it was great um supposedly you're supposed to like really what you use it it'll just kind of like i guess i'm going to use the word iron like you're ironing some wrinkles out it irons out those wrinkles and those lines out your face oh my i love this thing forty six hundred dollars couldn't do it Oh my word, but it was just really nice. Maybe one day I, I would really like to have this just to see if it really does what it says it does. But it, it was just, it was a treat just to kind of um, be at that particular booth with the rep there. And she did such an awesome job, but she was so sweet. I don't use a lot of sponges, but I hear if I'm going to use a sponge... These are the sponges to use. The Alacon. Very good sponges. And it says these are professional makeup sponges. These will last me forever because I don't use sponges. I use brushes. I don't even use beauty blenders that much. I'm not that great with them. They're nice. It's just not what I use. So I'm going to try these for uh, uh, using to, for powder to help set 
uh, makeup. So I'm going to try that out. Brushes. I love makeup brushes. So I usually purchase a lot of brushes. If I don't buy anything else at the makeup show, I am going to just buy tons and tons and tons and tons of brushes. I love them. Dual fiber for foundation. You can use this one for contouring. Angle brushes, love. Of course, eyeshadows help contouring. So these are things that I really enjoy, the makeup brushes. And they're so cheap. Like, I think I got, these are all by Crown. And I think it's like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, like it's a couple of more, maybe 16 of them. And I paid, I think it was 100 and $18 for these, which is a really good deal to me. You know, sometimes, you know, you can go into different stores. Like, you can go into Mac or Sephora, just depending on what brush. One brush can be 30 40 bucks. So, these are really good. And the quality is definitely, definitely great. Um, another company with great brushes, I, I believe it's pronounced uh, Delium. I think the... B at the beginning is silent. It's spelled B D E L L I U M. I've been buying these for years and I like them also. I like the weight of them. I like the way they perform. Um, my favorite I really like I really like their dual fiber brush for some reason. I don't know. I usually buy a lot of these because these are the brushes I use the most. And um Got several of those, and I think I spent less than a hundred dollars. Um, it was about 80 bucks for all of these, so good price. Now, I tried some new brushes this year, and they didn't have a lot of the ones that I really wanted to try, but these are called these are by um Cosette. Now, I really like this one because it's a blending brush, and it has this this tip is really really pointed, so I'm, I'm just interested to see what this would do. I like it. I like the way it looks and the way it feels. So if I like these, I will be buying a lot more of them. And then this one is a, um, it's like a bigger blender brush. But you can also use this for under eye. You can help to contour. You can do a lot with this. So that's it for the So I'm going to move on to makeup now. So I, again, I didn't buy that much makeup this year. I have a lot of makeup. So makeup is not something that I, that I really need. But... I did purchase a uh, Graftobian. I love Graftobian products because these are I buy the foundations and um, the first the first time I bought Graftobian, I think I bought the um, the palette. They had like maybe twenty different foundation shades in it, so I didn't need the whole thing again. So I just got these that are colors that I use a lot. You may not see your color here, but trust and believe, I have your color. In my makeup kit, I got makeup. So, but I like Graftobian foundations. And then for eyeliner, I bought Inklide. They're really popular. Inklide is it. But I wanted to try their eyeliner. Um, this one is the liquid eyeliner. And then this one is the gel. Now, I'm a gel queen. I can do a lot with a gel eyeliner. Give me gel eyeliner and a, a small angle brush. Oh, I can work it all day. I can do a mean cat eye. I'm just not that great with the liquid eyeliners, but I'm going to try it. Now, hopefully, I will get better at it. Um, it's just all what you're comfortable with. And I think for the two of these, um, maybe I think I paid like 23 bucks. Maybe. It wasn't that much. And, um makeup oh i'm beginning to really like nyx products i've been using a lot of their stuff i bought this one prior to going to the store and this is the ultimate um shadow palette and it has a lot of bright colors in it and i wanted to get it for the summer to try it out and i really like the performance of the shadows uh they're a little powdery but not too powdery just make sure that once you um 
apply it to your brush just kind of shake it to get the, all the excess off but these are some beautiful colors so I had this one already so when I went to the show I said I'm gonna try another one of their palettes so this one it's really pretty because these are a lot of soft colors you can use for like brides for the summertime. These are gorgeous. You have some roses and peachy colors in here, mauves, and then you also have like some um, different finishes. So very pretty. I thought I would try this. And this is the NYX Primer Base. Make sure you're using a primer on your skin, ladies, before you're applying your foundation. Important. It helps your um, makeup to wear better. Help to keep that shine down. Give you more of an even um, a, a flow to your skin. So try a primer. And then this is the matte. So just kind of help to set your makeup. And I tried it just before. Um, uh oh. I really do like it. So, I like a uh, a matte finish, but when I'm feeling a little, like I'm, if I feel like I'm getting a little dry, then I just spray with a, a with a, a skin finish. So this is good. So, I think that's it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is probably my most expensive purchase. How can I forget this? This is the Attempt to airbrush system and I've been kind of thinking about this for years thinking about it thinking about it I'm like okay I'm gonna do it this year I do not know how to airbrush I had an airbrush machine some years ago I bought that luminaire I think that's what it was off TV mm -hmm. I, I, that's all I'll say about that but this tip too is supposed to be really great. Uh, Frederick Sanders, who is a wonderful makeup artist and uh, one of the brand ambassadors, he stands by this. I met another beautiful makeup artist, Aga, at the makeup show. She did some beautiful work. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, she did all that with the airbrush machine. So she used this airbrush machine. And let me show you the foundations that I have. This one is the perfect uh, canvas. And this is what Aga spoke about in my video. And this one is the 24-hour Hydrolock Airbrush Foundation. So I have these two. Haven't tried it yet. I can't wait to try it. Nervous, but I'm going for it. And then also that came what came along with that. This is the cleanser. And this is the little pot thing. Did you put your drops in there? I, know, I hear you only need like four or five drops. And uh, then you're all done. And then this is the cleansing tool. So I think that's it. I'll let you know how my products turn out. I'm excited. Thank you for watching Second Beauty You. And remember, your second beauty is your true beauty. So let's embrace it and let's go. Bye-bye.